fifteen dollars for it. It's a hundred seventy-five watt inverter. You're looking at about eighty percent conversion, so it's very little loss, and the whole system will run driving this thing at twenty amps or so is going to be less than a hundred watts. And then when we add the buck converter. And then we move the resonance across the coil. Then it will be a parallel resonance instead of serious, a series resonance. Uh, I expect that to drop somewhere around 30 watts or less for 20 amp operation. And so, but the buck converters are extremely hard. In fact, I have not been successful even getting commercial ones to work. Uh, I think that because I'm using an electric power supply. Uh, for a uh, uh, unit, uh, the supply of current and voltage, I think the impedance is too high. I'm going to test, retest it hooked up directly to a battery. So we're walking at, um, it was started at 11.6 amps, it's only crawled up to 12.8 after two hours, and it was uh, 3.5, 4 or 5 volts, it's now 3.38. And you can just run this all day, and it's not going to give you a bit of trouble. Okay, I added another teaspoon probably in a half uh, to and that was that was the point where we got no more current uh, uh, drain and trying to show you this so we our ending voltage is 3.2 volts and we're running 16 let's see if you can see that 16 amps and as you can see we're pumping around uh, some gas and you can bet that that gas is mostly uh, HHO and very little air, but there, of course there always is some in there. Okay, the highest we can drive this cell is 32 amps at 4 volts. Okay, I'm showing you the, the, the vapor coming out. This is running at about 18 amps. We'll go, in fact, we can look at the voltage. Okay, voltage is 3.2 and the amperage is 19.3. Okay, so now when you start comparing these bubbles that they put out you know in the bubbler jar the test jar and that with these guys running at 12 and 14 volts those bubbles are a lot of air a lot of um, um, boiling at the point not a lot of HHO this is pretty much all HHO here uh, and uh, go okay 19.2 amps 3.3 <coughs> volts the hydroxy is coming right to the center through the accelerator grids. I'm running this at 240 volt setting at 5 volts. Gives me that 3.3 volts. This was with about 3 teaspoons of uh, lime, lye uh, in that container of distilled water. So again, you can see how important it is to have low voltage. Hi, Hi, baby. Okay, the final resting current on this particular cell, this is the old experimental cell that's had a lot of wear and tear on it, is 22.5 amps at 3.3 volts, 303 volts. So what's neat about this design is the current goes up and the voltage drops and that means more HHO. Okay, still want to show you the how it all comes out from the sides, trying to get this thing so it focuses okay. Very little water being boiled. In fact, the temperature is really low. I'll go ahead and measure here in just a second. Okay, these are really nice ideal numbers. Um, 
22.6 amps at 3.3 volts and we're going to go ahead and take a measurement here on the cell to see what the final this has been on for several hours we'll just see what the final says 81.3 volts we'll go ahead and check it over here again to make sure that that's that's it. I'm sorry volts 81.8 Fahrenheit go down here a little bit lower 80.6 and the bottom will be in the 70s 77 so again gotta get down with it okay so again the thing is let me try to get the surface temperature okay so the surface temperature of the electrolyte is 94.4 degrees Fahrenheit think about that this has been running for hours with 3.02 volts and resting current was 22.6 or 7 and I think we started out when I maximized this thing I think we're at 18 amps so we had an amp crawl of about 4 amps and we dropped from 3.4 volts to 3.2 exactly what we want and uh, the next thing is to incorporate uh, uh, a buck converter that will be more efficient than using a, a PC power supply and the uh, and that that's still pretty efficient it's in the 80 some percent range and if we use a buck converter uh, we will be about and what's nice about a buck converter is that we can just dial in the exact voltage we want and it'll hold it and uh, it's 93 percent efficient now can we beat that maybe with the resonant tuning okay i just em emptied the cell this like i said this is my prototype i've been using for the last six months and uh, just want to show you again this is the electrolyte running all day all day no scum no nothing no you do not use 12 volts you use two and a half to three and a half volts all right